Well, I'm sitting on this water closet, but I'm going to go back a bit to what I said before, to the outside lavatory where there were a wooden platform with holes cut in it and lids that would let down. Now there were sometimes two and sometimes three and you might wonder about sharing the lavatory in company with other people. But you know in those days there wasn't such reticence about going to the lavatory as it's today and there weren't so many lavatorial jokes. Everybody simply has to go to the lavatory sometime and of course they, this is why we've got these two haulers and three haulers. Um, some of them are big and some of them are small and I imagine that there's a mother sitting there you know and she's got a hand around a child and she's training this child to use the lavatory instead of using the potty as formerly. Now into the buckets or receptacles below would fall all the refuse and I'm going to be very off rude and vulgar now because we don't use these words in polite company I'm going to say all the shit and the piss went into the buckets below now if you left lived in a country district that would be um, a very hard to dispose of you wouldn't have the night soil the night shit men coming around to take it away and I remember when I was a girl and it's 70 years ago we went for a Sharaban trip round Witcham Valley and we stopped at the Fox and Goose it's still there but it's now too cottages it was formerly a hostelry a pub and of course this drink of lemonade went right to us we had to go to the loo and it was a two hauler and I asked all of them and that's why I learned I learned about these things then because I asked and by the way they grew the most wonderful tomatoes there because lavatory seeds pass through your system digestion system entirely and so when they threw this shit on the land to manure it the tomato plants grew.